Action News Now Storm Tracker Weather. Coverage you can count on. Court, we went from lighting uh, fires in our stove, I think within a week to just blasting the air conditioning. It's crazy. Yeah, and it's certainly warranted today. Yeah. Uh, and remember, we're not acclimated to this heat yet, That's so make right. sure you're staying hydrated. Uh, make sure you're checking in on loved one, especially the elderly and the very young, anyone with health impacts. You really want them to be keeping a close eye on them on days like today. Now, as we move forward in your forecast, cloudy but warm on Wednesday. Not as warm as today, though. A cooling trend is on the way in your extended forecast. And we'll also see a chance for a little wet weather on the way as we head through your weekend. But, of course, the story of the day, record-breaking high temperatures. Here's two cities that did see new records this afternoon, Red Bluff hitting 95 in the last hour. The previous record was 94 degrees. That was set in 2013. Quincy this afternoon shattering the previous record of 84 degrees set in 1987, hitting 90 out there this afternoon. And we're going to be keeping a close eye because there's a couple other cities where high temperatures are in jeopardy right now. Now, Redding, the previous high temperature record of 93, it looks like we've at least tied it there. So we're going to keep an eye on Redding. 94 right now for Red Bluff, 93 in Corning, 91 for Chico and Willows, 92 in Orville. And we're seeing mid 80s right now in Paradise, mostly low to mid 80s in the Sierra and mid to high 80s in the northern mountains right now. Winds are out of the west. Started to see them out of the south, and we'll see those south winds picking up as we head into this evening. That's going to help to give us that nice cool delta breeze kicking in. And over the next couple of days, that will have some influence on temperatures. Meanwhile, this afternoon, skies are clear across northern California, thanks to no small part to that ridge of high pressure that's been off the coast. Today, it's built through the southwest, and what that's doing is just kind of sitting pat right now, but it's going to move off to the east, heading into your Wednesday. That's going to open up the door for more influence from these areas of low pressure heading through to our north. So as you take a look at the future cast, we're going to be seeing showers to our north, a slight chance for some showers just brushing the far northern portion of California along the Oregon border tomorrow afternoon. We will see clouds moving through tomorrow as well. Thursday, we'll still have a slight chance for showers along the Oregon border. Then Friday, mostly sunny skies before this weekend. Now temperatures are going to be cooling down during this time frame as that ridge moves off to the east and low pressure continues to move through to our north. And then this very, very deep area of low pressure moving into the Gulf of Alaska on Friday into your weekend. That results in a big cooling trend and that chance for showers late Saturday and through Sunday in your forecast. Right now it does look pretty promising, but models could be changing. This is still a few days out, so we're seeing that chance for showers on the way for your weekend. Tomorrow it's cloudy skies, but mostly just dry weather for Northern California. Mid 70s to low 80s in the Northern Mountains for your afternoon. Mostly cloudy with mid to high 70s for the majority of the Sierra tomorrow. Foothill area is expected to see mid 70s to low 80s with cloudy skies. And if you're in the valley, partly cloudy tonight for the northern zones with low to mid 60s. Tomorrow afternoon we'll see temperatures back in the mid to high 80s, so flirting with 90s in some areas. Mid valley areas mostly mid 60s for the start of your Wednesday, so very warm for the start of the day. Mid to high 80s for your afternoon with mostly cloudy skies. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast where your weekend's always in view. Mid to high 80s for Wednesday, down to the low 80s by Friday, and then take a look at this. Dipping into the 70s through your weekend, we'll see a slight chance for showers in Chico on Sunday. Redding, you're going to be seeing mid to high 80s for Wednesday, then the low to mid 80s Thursday and Friday. Some clearing on Friday, and then clouds are turning through your weekend. We'll be down in the low to mid 70s by Sunday with that chance for showers rolling through. That's a little below average, and then warming back up as we head into the start of next week.